Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I am Isa, and today I'm gonna be showing you my travel makeup bag and what I pack for a week away. It is no secret that I used to be a really, really big makeup overpacker in the past. I still am with my clothes, but I've learned how to downsize my makeup whenever I travel. I also do a lot less to my face now than I used to, so I need less product. But anyways, today I'm gonna be showing you what I'm packing and kind of like the thought process behind what I'm packing for a week away. I have a, a video all about like longer trips so if you're planning on doing like months at an end and you don't know what to pack makeup wise. I have a whole video explaining my thought process and everything more in detail and showing you what I pack for longer periods of time but for today we're gonna keep it simple. It's gonna be an easy one. I'm just I just want to chat about the products that I'm bringing and just hang out with you guys. So if you're interested in learning what's in my travel makeup bag then please keep on watching because I'm about to show you. So let's start with complexion products. For my complexion, I like to keep it very minimal. I'm a minimal complexion gal. I like to keep it super lightweight. So for primer, you know, I don't usually use a primer, but I'm gonna be in Texas in at the end of August. So it's still gonna be super hot. Like Texas is freaking hot for a really long time in the summer. So I'm just bringing this mini milk makeup blur stick. I feel like they just have the luminous blur stick now, but this is just like a mini blur stick that is gonna help you know make sure it's, it's not necessarily like a mattifying primer but it's gonna keep things at bay I would probably use this if I want to go out to dinner I have a concert to attend so this is probably gonna come in clutch then for my all-over base I'm bringing the tower 28 sunny days broad spectrum SPF 30 tinted sunscreen mine's in number 15 Melrose I'm gonna be outside a lot I'm obviously gonna you know bring my SPF and reapply it as the day goes by but this has extra SPF. Now I know that if you compound your SPF, it doesn't really do anything, but still to me, this is like extra protection. It also gives me a little bit of coverage. I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy. I don't need any crazy coverage at all. So this is just gonna be perfect for that. And it's also, it also makes my skin look really healthy and dewy. And I like that. For my under eyes, which are my problem area, I'm bringing two products. I'm bringing the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in Peach. This is just gonna help with the, you know, discoloration under my eyes. I always need a little something extra, but most people wouldn't need to travel with a concealer and an under eye corrector. This is just like personal preference. And this is just a great one. It's lightweight and I, I really enjoy it. So we're bringing this one. And then for concealer, I'm bringing my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Bisque. I've repurchased this a thousand times. I talk about it almost every video. I use it so much. This is just my perfect concealer. You can really customize the coverage and I love the shade. It's perfect for me. I love that it's satin so it's not gonna be too glowy or too matte. It's just, it's gonna balance everything perfectly. And if I do need a little extra coverage on the face, I can definitely go in with this one and add that. It's just a jack of all trades. I will never get tired of telling you this. If you haven't picked it up, go buy yourself one. But yeah, this is my baby. I'm bringing her with me. And then to set, I just had a mini heart attack. I don't know if you're gonna be hearing that, but there, every the, the earth just it. Uh, for powder, I'm bringing a mini of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is just, you know, in the shade Translucent, like the classic. I know they have shades now, but this is just the whitest one there is. This one's great. It's just your standard powder. It's perfect. If I just want a little bit like something lightweight or if I want to pack it on and like bake with this, I can do it all and it's a mini size and it's going to keep my makeup on whenever I need it to keep my makeup on. For cheeks, I'm only bringing one of each product. In the past, like I have a hard time with cheeks because I have so many products that I love and I enjoy and I'm constantly rotating like when I'm at home I'm constantly rotating my products I'm not using one every single day but because I'm only gonna be gone for a week and you know for the sake of packing I'm only bringing one of each breaks my heart a little bit that's fine I might end up buying some more so it's it'll even out eventually for bronzer I'm bringing the elf putty bronzer this is in the shade golden days I really love this one it's a cream it kind of behaves like a powder like it just it sets beautifully on the skin I'm wearing it today I really really like it and you know I'm gonna be tanning a little bit like my face is gonna be a little tanner so this color is a little bit um, tanner than I am right now so it's perfect for that and it's also twiny so small 
For blush, again, I'm bringing all creams. This could be a hazard, but I don't care. Like I'm over powders a little bit right now, but for my blush, I'm bringing the Tower 28 uh, Beach Please blush in Golden Hour. This is just my perfect peachy shade. I love the shade on me, and I love that I can also wear it on my lips if I want to. Give me a second. Pepper is scratching at my door. But as I was saying, this is just like the perfect blush. It goes with everything. It's very versatile. I can use it everywhere on my face. It's a no-brainer. I love it so much. And it also lasts a decent amount of time, even though it's cream, and it doesn't like really set. If I need some highlighter, I'm gonna be busting out the Glossier Haloscope in Quartz. I haven't used this one in so long, so I just wanted to bring it with me and just get some use out of it for a week. It goes, again, with everything. It really doesn't have much pigment. It gives you a slight bit of gloss but also you know you get the shimmer in there it's just perfect for everything if I don't want to use it I'm not gonna use it but if I do it's gonna be there and I really enjoy it again pretty tiny doesn't take up a lot of space doesn't weigh a ton and then last like cheek product is the Freck XL I love my Freck I use it all the time I don't have freckles I don't really get freckles either like my skin just doesn't do that so if I want to add some freckles or just accentuate my moles I'm always using this almost every time I do my makeup because it's so nice it just adds a bit of an oomph and I don't know I like faking that I have freckles sue me I'm sorry I couldn't be born with natural beautiful freckles I have to fake them when it comes to my eyes I definitely don't do a lot like I haven't been doing eyeshadow in a while like you know, I haven't even reached into a palette in a while, which is a crime because I have so many. So I'm not bringing a ton. Let me just start off with brows because it's easier. I'm just gonna bring something to fill and something to set. To fill, I'm using my Glossier uh, Brow Flick in brown. I stopped using this for a while, but I have started using it again because I don't know, it's so easy to use. You can't overdo it. Like the color is great on my eyebrows and this one doesn't explode when you travel. I know there are some like pens that explode when you travel. This one doesn't do that. It's perfectly safe and it's really really good. I've neglected it for a long time, but it's I've, it was about time to bring it back Glossier is making a comeback apparently because I'm bringing a lot of their products with me and then to set everything I'm gonna be going in with the benefit 24-hour brow setter This is just the best if you have thick eyebrows like me and you wish you could use like soap brow or like wax Or even the refi brow thing that I have used before and I enjoy those don't work quite as well as something like this this I have found like using just a little bit of this it really like slicks up my brows and it just leaves them there forever like slicked back and like very well groomed I don't know how to explain it this is amazing we all know this it's not a new product but I'm again recently just coming back to it and just loving it even more it's so freaking good if you have thick brows you can do everything with it I love it and then for actual eyeshadow am I bringing a primer I'm not. I haven't really been using an eye primer lately, so I'm not even bringing one. I'm sorry, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion, but you're staying home because I'm just bringing literally two eyeshadows and they're both cream. First one is the Inglot Aquastic uh, Cream Eyeshadow in the shade 12. You guys know I love this. It gives me the full glossy eye of my dream and it's also just, it's perfect in every single way. It's so easy to use. It gives me a little bit of light and brightness. I don't have to fuss much with it and it lasts all day. Does it crease a little bit? Yes, but I, I I like that because it adds a little more character. I could use it with a primer, but I just, I cannot be bothered when I'm doing my makeup in the morning. I just, I can't, I can't do it. What the fuck is this accent? I don't know. This is amazing though. And then I'm also bringing the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Mattes in the shade Exposed, which is this, it's a little cooler tone than I'm used to, but again, I've been really enjoying it. A little dollop of this goes a really, really, really long way. Let me see if I can show you. This has already exploded a little bit, but I can use this as everything, like as eyeshadow, as a lip product, which I wouldn't wear as a lip product, but as an eyeshadow or a blush, I think it will be amazing. The formula is great. It's matte. It eventually sets and it does move so it's perfect for the Texas heat and I'm really enjoying this color so I'm bringing it with me and then because I cannot go anywhere without it I am bringing my Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil and whiskey you must always bring a brown or a black liner with you wherever you go this is so versatile I can use it to do eyeliner to do waterline and tight line I can even use this as like a, an eyeshadow I can do everything with this this is perfect this is amazing I love the formula I love this color this should be in every single makeup bag you ever pack, okay? 
maybe this specific one or your favorite brown or black, but you need a liner, sorry. For mascara, I'm only bringing one. I'm bringing the Maybelline, the Colossal Curl Bounce because I love this so much and I'm running out of it. So I'm taking it with me, I'm using it up and I'm buying a new one to bring home. But this one's great because you can use it as more of a natural mascara or you can build it up like I have today into more of a dramatic mascara. It doesn't get super volumizing or anything, don't get me wrong, but um, you can really customize how much you want and you can really change up the look a little. So I really enjoy this one. It's affordable and it does everything that I need it to do. Now for lips. This is truly my hardest category because I always want to bring all my lip products like I have an addiction, but I always end up using the same one. I definitely decided to limit myself this time. I'm only bringing five lip products. Might be too much, but I just I can't narrow it down more than I already have. Okay, so <laughs> let me show you what we're working with. I have, first off, the NYX lip pencil in nude beige. This is just my lip pencil of choice. It's amazing. It's great. It's affordable. And it goes with literally everything. And it kind of contours my lips a little. So I can't leave the house without this. Then for some neutrals, I'm bringing the Merit Au Natural Tinted Lip Oil. This is great. It's what I have on my lips today alongside the lip liner. It's so easy to just throw on. Mm, it's moisturizing. It gives you a little bit of color. Merit, you're doing everything with this lip oil and I love it and it's always in my purse so I can't not bring it. If I'm looking for an actual lipstick, I'm bringing my Glossier Generation G lipstick in cake. I'm sorry, this is always coming with me everywhere. It's my favorite nude of all time, truly. Love the formula, love the shade, love everything about this. Like it's so, oof. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I just, I love that it can be a little more sheer or I can build it up. It's just, you guys know I love this. I rave about it all the time. And then if I want a little bit of a pop of color, which I rarely ever do, most of the time I'm only bringing it for shits and gigs, but I can never like not pack a bright color. On this occasion, I am bringing the L'Oreal This Lipstick, which I never know the name of. The name will be down below. The shade is 420 I Achieve. And this is just the best, like the best orange lipstick ever. Are you kidding me? It's like a burnt orange that's perfect for summer, but it's also kind of perfect for fall. It is a liquid lipstick. It's not the most comfortable formula, but it isn't the worst. Like it's, it's not bad. And for the color, I will risk it all. And then lastly, if I am in need of a gloss, I'm bringing my Tower 28 Shine on Lip Jelly in Chill. Yeah, it's my favorite clear gloss. It is so nice. It smells amazing. It feels great. And I can use it. Okay, this has a hair. Sorry. I can use it on its own on top of something else. I can even use this as a freaking night lip treatment thing because it's so nourishing. I love it. So I cannot leave the house without it. It's my favorite clear gloss and it's coming with me. Lastly, to just set everything, I'm bringing the Milk Hydro Grip Set Plus Refresh Spray. This is amazing. It's a mini size. I'm halfway done with it. So again, it's perfect because it's tiny. It's not going to take up a lot of space or weigh a ton in my bag. And if I use it up, I can just repurchase it or, or replace it with something else. It doesn't give me the longest lasting makeup ever. And to be honest, honest with you, it is going to be really hot and I don't know why I'm not bringing more like heat sustaining products. I'm just not in the mood. Like I, I know like whenever I'm there, I'm just going to be doing the bare minimum, which is this. And I'm not going to be caring about having my makeup look perfect all day and stuff. So, you know, this is going to be enough. I'm pretty sure of it. And then as always, I've shown this bag before, but I'm going to show it again. This is a Sonia Kashuk bag. This truly like just has everything that I need for a week away and even more space like there is so much more space this is a bag that I use whenever I'm traveling for a really long time but I'm just bringing it right now because I know myself and I'll probably gonna be filling it up with a few more products and something else that I love is that it has another compartment here where you can place your brushes and some other things so it works for me it holds all my products and then some but you can bring you know you can use whichever bag fits everything you were to need right okay you guys and that is it for today's video here is everything i'm bringing with me for a week away it's more than enough for me but let me know what you guys think do you think it's too much just enough or do i Definitely like if it if it was you would you definitely pack more than I'm packing because even for me This feels a little you know a little restrictive that I know like I'm gonna be using all of these products and I don't need any more 
having a little bit of a freak out inside, but you know what? I'm calm, cool, and collected. If you enjoyed today's video, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and, you know, helps the channel grow. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content like today's video, then please make sure to subscribe. Buttons down below. I post videos every week and I'd love to have you back. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you right here for my next one. I love you. Bye. Mwah.